Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jess Cat. I know, of course, it's been a while. I suck at uploading on here because also I get like no views, so <laughs> it's fine. But I feel like I have watched so much on this drama that's been brewing and everything, and I feel like I typically don't watch anything about it. I don't like watching drama. I get anxious over it. But I've been very motivated because I've been watching YouTubers come on and just drag Shane and Jeffrey so hard. And at first I, you know, I didn't know anything about it and I felt kind of bad. I was like, oh, that's kind of messed up that people are just, you know, so quick to cancel because that's like the culture that's popular now and I'll never be famous. So like, thank God I'll never experience that. But I feel for these people, you know, while I don't know everything that's happened with James Charles and everything like I you know I only know what's been on the internet and what's been leaked I don't know how innocent he is I don't know how innocent Tati is or Shane or Jeffrey or whatever but <laughs> the fact that people were so quick to cancel James Charles and you know get him to a point where he was suicidal it's just it's sad like even when it was going on and I fed into that a little bit again like I don't really watch a lot of drama but the stuff I was hearing, I was like, God, what a sick freak, you know, like, I don't know, trying to turn straight people gay or whatever, like all this crazy stuff, which in and of itself is already a messed up concept to like accuse somebody of anyway, especially if it's false. But the fact that, you know, everybody just jumped on board with no question was like, let's cancel James Charles, you know, like by and just internet bullied him ever since that I've really been out of everything drama because I just I don't like to feed myself with that and I don't like to give those people credibility I don't like to give them more attention it's just not something that I want to do but <laughs> considering one of my idols has left YouTube I absolutely adore Jenna Marbles and I actually whenever she came out with that a message video. I mean, first of all, it was already hard to watch because she was wearing an STL hoodie and I'm from St. Louis. So I was like, damn, this is just hitting me harder for whatever reason. But I literally, like I was already going through some mental stuff anyway. And when I watched that, I, <laughs> I like cried the entire video. Like it feels like a friend has stepped away, you know, somebody that like, I feel like has dug me out of so many I don't know low moments whenever I like feel down and I can just go and watch a video by Jenna Marbles or whatever and now I can't and then I've had people you know tell me about the scandals of Jeffree Star or, yeah Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and I always like I don't like to be quick to just hate on somebody you know I feel like people grow people learn people change like a lot of stuff that happened 10 years ago was I guess like the morals were blurred doesn't make it okay no but like they definitely were blurred I like to give people a chance to learn and grow like I know there are things that I did 10 years ago or said that would not be tolerated nowadays and it's embarrassing but I'm glad I've learned from it but <laughs> the fact that I've watched so much stuff on what these people have done to other YouTubers and everything. Like, even setting aside all the other stuff of, like, having blackmail on people and whatnot. Like, that's still sick, but the fact that you were willing to allow a kid, an 18-year-old, to be so devastated over something that they worked so hard to build with talent and everything, and you were okay to, like, see them be suicidal and you weren't gonna do anything like, i think it just hits harder because we are in an age where mental illness is a big thing you know like i feel like it wasn't taken seriously years ago and now it's supposed to be and <laughs> somebody who's in the spotlight two big people in the spotlight like you clearly you talk about mental illness and you talk about wanting to be there for people but yet again you were gonna take one of your friends and just like let them I don't, commit suicide and be okay like I don't understand like I typically don't care about gossip like I live my life on a different 
wavelength, I guess. Like if something doesn't personally affect me or like isn't hurting anybody else or whatever. Like Again, like is it my business to get into like internet drama? I don't talk about it, but you just, you can't justify that. It's sick. It's sick and I feel like the fact that all these YouTubers are coming forward demanding answers from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Like, first of all, Shane, like, did you really think that that Instagram live that you had was going to make you look good? Because you're literally telling somebody by them talking about their sexual abuse or being manipulative by crying about it. I'm very confused. And then you're going to go on and say, oh, I was sexually assaulted too. Like, it's not a competition. That's a sick thing to argue, in my opinion. <sighs> And then Jeffrey, like, where the fuck are you? Like, is no one just, like, do you not see, like, how bad that looks to you? The fact that you're not saying anything about your play on any of this. You're not even coming forward to, like, do what you always do and play the victim. Like, I literally, like, I am not somebody that... I think cancel culture is stupid. I feel like people make mistakes and people are so quick to cancel them. This is probably one of the only times that I've seen something where I've been like, all right, like, <laughs> even with your apologies, like, fuck off. Like, we had a creator on here that was actually genuinely so great to her fans and so great to people in general and made the least controversial content that you could ever make. Like, this girl filmed herself napping one day. But then we still have these freaking idiots online just like making these fucking videos. And yeah, people are asking for them to take accountability, but like, I am really gonna lose faith in humanity if this comes back and they apologize and people forgive them and everything goes back to normal because I've seen it happen before and it's so infuriating. <laughs> this is just a long rant of me literally just watching all this drama that I usually wouldn't care about but I feel like it's just seeing all these people get hurt by two people that are just so two-faced it's just so sick and the fact that like people are still willing to give them money or like give them attention it's just sick like and I'm I'm guilty too I'm giving it attention I'm watching it I'm feeding into it but I don't know. <laughs> Not that anyone will ever care about my opinion. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's just, it's sad. It's really sad to see that we have these people online that we hate, but we give them attention. That's what they want. Why are we doing this? Why am I doing this? Anyway, that's all. I just was really irritated and wanted to come on here and rant about it, so... Thank you to whoever is going to see this. Not that it, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Bye.